Hi there, I'm in lab and before giving this board and this front panel to my students to finish soldering up for practice, I wanted to do a little bit more testing on this saw pitch shifter. This is a cat girl synth circuit by Ken Stone. Right now we're looking at the up output. So the circuit takes a couple of inputs and does something with them to produce an output. But the main thing is I get, you know, I get some sort of output. Let's change one of the inputs to a sine wave. Okay, there's a thing. What about a scroll wave? Ramp. All right. Uh, let's see, let's trigger that differently. Okay, we'll call that close enough. Now, this is the down output. And you'll notice that it rails out. So I suspect that this is not the desired behavior. The fact that it's slamming all the way from one extreme to the other suggests to me that there's an op amp somewhere that doesn't have properly operating negative feedback. Whoops, I got that backwards. It's actually the up output that is having problems. Okay, so U3 and the surrounding area is suspicious. So let's measure the resistance between pin two and pin six. Okay, first of all, it looks like my Rev 1.1 board isn't quite like this schematic. I've seen this before. Ken has different versions of the designs. There's a 1K going to the output and the 100K loops back to the output of the op amp, not the final output. But in any case, when I measure between pin two and pin six, I'm not measuring something around 100K, I am measuring 1.5 mega ohms. That doesn't seem right. Uh, I think this solder joint here is dodgy. I've given these to students over the years for soldering practice. So I get a variety of different kinds of joints. Yeah, so it turns out this pad was lifted. So I hacked this dodgy bodge. And look at that. We now have a proper up output. Here's my down output. Okay, I turned down the frequency of one of the inputs. So now I have a blinky LED. There you go.